baby! I like that. It's not bad. It's my Bootsy Collins impression. I hope someone saw it. Because that's it. That's, that's all it? I'm doing. Got, well, that's it. Can you say, welcome to Buckethead Land? But in, in Bootsy voice? Yeah. Oh, welcome to Buckethead baby! Close. It's pretty close. In Buckethead Land, baby? Yeah, Bucket. Bootsy did all the, the talking on Buckethead Land 1 and 2, I believe. Mm -hmm. But then there's also like this computer thing. Like, Welcome to Buckethead Land. I like that. I like but that. like he's like the theme park narrator. <laughs> I would definitely, I'd have a season pass to that theme park. Can you like, does anybody remember, what the fuck was the name of that record that they did together? It was like uh, Bucket of Bernie Brains or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a good record. Those are, those are two characters. You right? Colonel Claypool's Bucket of Bernie That's Brains. That's what it was, yeah. Where's that on vinyl? Oh, man. Strike that from the record, Internet. That's mine. I'm coming up with that. Get out We're of doing it. Dark Side exclusive. Colonel Claypool's Bucket of Bernie Brains. This isn't an official announcement. I literally just had the thought. Yes, so. please don't, don't hold us to that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, just keep it between us. You just keep it between us. Here we are. Oh, got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of boochies in here. That's right. Hey, internet. Oh. Woo. Welcome to another edition of Dark Side Use Twos Previews <laughs> for Yous. I can't hear, and that's Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, hoes. That's right. I, I assume, assume Chip was here. first. Oh, Eves oh. had the top comment tonight. Howdy top Jets. fan Eves with the howdy gents. Then a howdy hoes. Yep. And a, uh, we got two ends of the spectrum there, gents and hoes. Got a snoochie boochies from Mr. McArdle. Yeah. Oh, who's that? Hey, hey, boys. Oh, look at that. I'm skipping over Julia. I'm going to Gorman's ah. here back <laughs> on the... Welcome back, back on the prowl. Gorman, missed you. Hope all is well. Dark Side loves you. What you too, Julia. Ah. Hi, Julia. Slacking. <laughs> You're an hour and 55 minutes late. <laughs> Come on. Come on. What's up, Laura? With Rose. And Mike, back to back. <laughs> Golly G. Serna with the high. Oh, uh, what up? Keeping it classy. Mm -hmm. Keeping it a simple high. Oh, Jesse says hi, Dark Side. Oh, hi, hi Jesse. Jesse. Jesse's great. You notice? You just taking a minute to notice that we talked to Jesse the same way we talked to Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, hi, Julia, and hi, Jesse, back to back. Hi, Julia. Jesse. Uh, hi, Jesse. Hi. Jesse. <laughs> hi. Yeah. Don't know which one I'm talking to. Virgo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joe Court with the yes, yes. Oh, uh, what up, Joe Court? John McArdle dropping some more Bootsy and Buckethead knowledge on us. I knew that, actually. Okay. Forgot about Praxis. Praxis and Cobra Strike, right? Praxis makes Anybody? perfect. <laughs> this fucking, <laughs> fucking, the pun factory over here. I'm going to change the name of the store. <laughs> I, would, I would definitely open that store up. Oh, Julia's having a time at the bottom of the comments here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot. It is. Stanky. The AC is broken again. We had AC for two days. Mm -hmm. Now it's down again. It's like a famous boxer who once lost. Down. Sports! Down again. <laughs> <laughs> now it's sticky. It's gross. But... I haven't sweat as much as I thought today, so that's nice. He said he was going to be a Grimace today. Yeah, I was cosplaying as Grimace from Ronald McDonald's land. Can you give us like a little waddle? <laughs> it's because I'm round and wearing purple. But of course, you're here for the Gooch every Tuesday. We put out the Gooch. Every Monday, we go live showing you a little preview, showing you what's so. good. Of course, if you want anything that we show you, call dibs, let us know what you're calling dibs on so we can put it aside for you. Fastest dib wins. Chip is on the line, watch out. And of course, the used twos list goes live every Tuesday and you can get on it by heading over to darksiderecords.com and putting in your email address. 
put your email address in for the new release and the special events emails while you're there. It's just a little bit of typing. Just copy and paste. Maybe just check some, some boxes out. Just do it. Just do it. Because, of course, you will find out about special events like the one going on this weekend. That's right. This, are we telling them now? Are we, Let's please? do it. All right. This Saturday, it's our biannual independent tent sale. That's right. We're pitching a tent full of deals for you people. And to help celebrate, we brought sparklers. Sparklers! Oh, God. Please don't touch the records. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You're fine. This Saturday, under the tent in the parking lot, we put out. <laughs> <laughs> we got a whole bunch of the gooch in the tents, <laughs> CDs, DVDs, vinyl, all on sale for you. <laughs> <laughs> One day only this Saturday, our yearly Independence Day sale, Kings of the Puns. <laughs> and with that being said, it let's... It's a little smoky in here now. <laughs> Just a little bit. It smells very smoky. <laughs> <laughs> let's start out with the gooch, the used gooch. And we start out with breakfast, of course, in America. And of course, you know Goodbye Stranger because of The Office. Finger. Goodbye Toby. Um, you know, take the long way home from every other commercial, and uh, Breakfast in America because of the Travi McCoy and the guy from Fallout Boy. Da -da -da -da. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. Uh, that was like a cover, huh. and like the gym class heroes, and that's how I found out about Super Tramp. They're from like Albany, aren't they? Gym class heroes. I think the Travi McCoy lives like in Beacon or something. But Jim Class Heroes, right? Yeah, yeah. It was his, his original band. I'm just trying to represent the 518. 518. You know what it is. 518. You know what it is. Bombers. Had bombers. And, and, oh, so good. Shit for like two days, but it was delicious. Let's see, you know, let's clean out the closet. Part of the bombers experience. <laughs> <laughs> you said you should have written Gooch with the sparklers. Ah, damn. Next time. Next, next time. time. <laughs> more. I'm here. What I'm getting from this is more pyrotechnics. Absolutely. That's how we're gonna take this motherfucker to the next level. <laughs> Anyone has a smoke machine they want to let us borrow? We can get a, like a bubble thing. We can do a little, like live DJ setup here. We can be cheesy wedding DJs. <laughs> so down. <laughs> All see, right. See you next week. How about some um, fan favorites? Okay. That's where I'm starting here today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Gorman with the knowledge. Geneva. Geneva. The Geneva Convention. Not, not the same I was going to go there, mm -hmm. but you know. Stockholm Syndrome. Anyway. It's Queen. News of the world. Can't go wrong with the queen lately. No. Can't. Just gonna hold it there. Just let it. You have to. You have to. You have to let it linger. <laughs> it's queen. We can't keep these fucking records in stock, so I figured I'd talk about it. It's true. Talk about it. Carry on. Mm -hmm. Get your gooch on right here. Because... For the last year now, the Queen Records out the door. Get a movie made about you and then sell your records. This is my country. The Impressions. The first Impressions album on the Curtain label. Sweet fucking label, too. Love that label. Of course, Mr. Mayfield and his boys doing the damn thing for your pleasure. Grab it before it's gone. And while we're talking soul heavy hitters, why don't we bring it to Marvin Gaye, how sweet it is to be loved by you. Marvin's fifth album, a mono first pressing on the Tom Le label. You may have uh, heard how sweet is you, uh, how sweet it how is. How sweet is you. How I is sweet, super sweet, too sweet. Uh, how sweet it is to be loved by you, covered by a host of people, James Taylor, Jerry Garcia and his band a staple in their set and now this record could be a staple in your collection 
Well, I'm gonna switch up my next my next little ditty here. Okay. Because I feel like it ties in well with yours. It does. How about another King of Soul, mm -hmm. Mr. Sam Cooke, Ooh. doing the Billy Holiday catalog. Mm. Some standards in a not so standard way, if you will. It's Sam Cooke doing some classics. Lover Man, Crazy She Calls Me, Blue Moon, Lover Come Back, and uh, Taint Nobody's Business If I Do. <laughs> that really is that taint. It's literally the gooch right here. <laughs> so, I, I don't actually recall coming across this record very often. Mm. So, mm. Mm. it's cooking in here. Might as well cook it at home, too. Wank. Um, silence. <laughs> uh, my next pick is the second album from one Mr. Tim Curry, the Taylor Swift cover album, Fearless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, this is his, like I said, his second album, his first one doing all originals. Got a soft spot for Mr. Curry. Wild Thornberries in my adolescence, he was Nigel Thorn then. Uh, you gotta show that back cover too. Home Alone 2, of course. Who did uh, Home Alone 2? Uh, it was the, uh, was it the Bellhop? Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck, I never thought about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, what, what's your favorite Tim Curry role? Comment down below. Or did this too, please. You know, because everybody's got one, their own Tim Curry. Mm -hmm. It really kind of depends on what generation you're in. <laughs> You want to go with my generation, okay, your generation. Who? It's the Who. Hey. Sings my generation. Nice little Decca comp here. Mm -hmm. That's all you get. You got some classics. Uh, my generation, the kids are all right. Please, please, please. Instant party. Bunch of the hits right here, compiled in one place. Nice little tip-on jacket. Clipped. But not forgotten. Clipped for your pleasure. We got a couple comments. Uh, Gorman says Rocky Horror, Tim Curry. But Eves might take it. He says the devil. The devil, Tim Curry. What? Legend. legend. We got a legend. Um, started off with a little P-Funk. That one's not for dibs, but this P-Funk is for dibs. It's Kiddo. Kiddo is a P-Funk offshoot featuring Kid Funkadelic himself, Michael Hampton, on guitar. Um, yeah, he hopped on the Parliament Funkadelic train with Kid, uh, Kid Funkadelic, shredded out on the Not Just Knee Deep solo. They broke off because of financial, all that, all the, at the sad end to the P-Funk empire. But this is some disco-esque P funk with a little bit of soul in there. It's kind of like it reminds me of like some Morris Day type vibes. Mm -hmm. Kind of, kind of dig. It it looks exactly. It, it sounds exactly like they like like. I don't know. I, you know what you're getting when you you see a band of these guys. It's even kind of like a Morris Day outfit pose yeah. in a way as well. But for any P funk completist, you need the whole brand, all the branches. It's one right here. It's a big family tree too. It is. Speaking of a perfect pair, True. doesn't get much more rock and roll than this. It's Jimi Hendrix and Little Richard together. Ooh. Friends from the beginning. So it's Jimi and Little Richard doing some ditties together. Whole lot of shaking, good night Irene, Tutti Fruity, Laudy Miss Claudy, Hound Dog. Look at that. You got that sweet, unmistakable soul of Little Richard and the, uh, the brilliant guitar playing of Mr. Jimi Hendrix, all in one place. You know what I call this? Hmm. Summer jams. Oh. This is like sitting at home, maybe on the deck, maybe with a uh, couple of brewski, or maybe you're just uh, hitting some whippets in the fridge and you got something <laughs> on the background. Good Lord of Miss Cloudy. Lord of Miss Cloudy. Hey! Whip it. Uh, gonna slow it down just a little bit and tell you about a little something that happened this past weekend that you would have known about if you on the special events email or if you checked our Instagram or Facebook. We put out a shit ton of 12-inch singles 
with some hip hop and R&B LP compliments, some breaks albums for all you DJs out there. So I got a couple leftovers I wanted to show you. Of course, we didn't get to talk about it on a full Use Twos video, but we sent out the list. Thanks to everyone that stopped by. Hopefully, you got a little bit of the gooch for you. Um, I know uh, Pearly picked up a bunch of Breaks albums. Here's some cool, uh, this is a the Strictly Breaks series. Uh, and not just Breaks, not just Chopped, but full songs of uh, R&B, soul, just random stuff that went on to be sampled by artists. So you got Curtis Mayfield, which was then used by Mace. You got Bill Conti going the distance, Puff Daddy, B.I.G. Busted Rhymes on Victory. A whole bunch of breaks albums like that. Like I said, some singles, including a bunch of rare Madonna Sealed singles. Who knew that Seal was good friends with Madonna? You've been holding out this long. This is, of course, Like a Virgin. If anyone buys this this week, I will sing Like a Virgin on the next video. Wow. Mm -hmm. Come on, uh, people. Come on. The Galt McDermott up from the basement unreleased tracks. Who is John Galt? <laughs> well, Galt, I don't know who John Galt is, but Galt McDermott. <laughs> that was a dumb joke I made. <laughs> is the composer Surprise. of Hair. Yeah. Yeah. But he did a whole bunch of, like, R&B, funk cuts, this compilation, a bunch of unreleased tracks featuring Bernard Purdy, oh. Idris Muhammad, Ooh. and a bunch of others you gotta see to believe a who's who a who's who and of course some of the hip-hop gooch left over the infamous mob deep first pressing out of print hard as fuck to come by but we got it so come on by and the ghost face killer supreme clientele first press for all you apollo kids out there damn 50th anniversary of the moon landing, too. True. All the Apollo kids. See how I died together? So stop on by. If you haven't checked the list, it's still up there. If you see anything you want, get them dibs on. Come on. But let me continue it right back into the used Look gooch. Look at this guy. We He's got uh, we Rocket Man over here. I got a little bit of uh, hip hop that, that, that snuck its way in on Saturday and Sunday. That's right. And I got a little Outcast ATLians promo radio advance copy, which of course, since it's on the radio, means it's a clean version, but it's still super cool for any Outcast collection. Fill it out. Elevators is on there. ATLians. And a really cool piece. And more hip hop. Hippity hop. I don't stop. Vince Staples, Summertime 06, the complete. 2LP collection, of course, Vince Staples, a more contemporary hip-hopper, rapper. Uh, me and Drew saw him with, oh, Tyler, yeah. with Tyler the Creator. And he had a bunch of um, strobe lights on, his, on the stage, so I watched, I, I listened to most of the set. I didn't watch most of the set. I had my eyes closed. Mm. Can't do it. Make you sick. And I just don't want to risk it, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want to, I don't want to toe that, that line. Of I had a, uh, a strobe light in my room as a kid, and I used to just stare at it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. like, sometimes you get to the point where it makes you feel sick to your stomach. Oh, true, true. I bought it at Radio Shack. <laughs> uh, of course, Summertime 06's debut album was split up into two pressings. Uh, Summertime 06 Part 1 and 2 released separately, but then the deluxe version came in, compiled it all, and... Oh. And matches the cover. That's mm. cool. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is hitting the wall, but I wanted to give you the first the first look. <sighs> I can breathe. All right. All right, there we go. So, my next one is in relation to this week's number one, well, I guess last week's number one selling album, Ooh. The Wreck on Tours, back out with their new album, Help a Stranger. Reached number one in the Billboard charts this year, out flanking Lil Somebody for the number one spot, and sold 25,000 copies just on LP alone. Damn. This week. It's the biggest vinyl debut of the year so far, surpassing Vampire Weekend's record a couple weeks back. That was a good one, too. And so, 
figured it was only appropriate to talk about another little Jack White project. The Dead Weather, Dodge and Burn. This is the 2015th, 2015th? The 2015th album. That's a lot of albums they put out. Yeah, fucking, you know that vault club, there's a lot of singles. <laughs> It's the 2015 album from the Dead Weather. Of course, you got Jack, Jack White from the White Stripes, the Raconteurs, and others. You got uh, Allison Mosshart from the Kills. You got Dean Fertitta from Queens of the Stone Age. And uh, I'm gonna blank on the fourth member. Anybody? Anybody? That other guy. It's that other hey. guy. Uh, it's the Dead Weather. This album came out in 2015. I remember we played this a lot right as we were moving the store, if I remember correctly. Got a lot of air time, so save yourself a couple shekels, get yourself a nice clean copy of Dodge and Burn. And I just kind of blanked. Are we uneven? Should I go again? Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Okay. Doesn't need any introduction. Yeah, you know about It's James Brown. Hey. Hot pants. Hot popcorn. Hot, hot everything. It's the fabulous James Brown. Nice little compilation here on the HR Music Company. HRB Music Company. Don't know what that is, actually. But all the jams is on here. Papa's got a brand new bag. Mm. I feel good. Mm. Make it funky. Dib. It's a man's world. Dib. It's dibbed? Dib. Boom. Mm. You got it. Chippy dibs. Well, keep your fucking dibbing fingers ready, because we're keeping it in the realm here. Mm. And we're talking... Doing it to death oh. with the JBs. JB! My man! It's right here! He's right here! He'll sign it if wait, you wait, want. Wait, 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 Can we get them together? Can, Can we... we get them together? Yeah. yeah they are. It's the JBs doing it to death. If you don't know, you got Maceo. Maceo! Fred Wesley. Mm. Some others. Yeah, that was the top. That was the number two. <laughs> Those top two spots right there. This shit is a funky good time. Hell yeah. So, put it in your collection. This is not a first press. This is a reissue copy. Dipped again. J Golly G. Golly G. You're going to have a good night with this one. Mm -hmm. I guarantee. Yeah. Guarantee. What's that from? I don't know. Some France? Some fast food commercial when I was a kid. Is that KFC or something like that? <laughs> I guarantee. Is that Foghorn Leghorn? Maybe. <laughs> it might be Foghorn Leghorn. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, I got uh, for my last picks. I got a little pack. Look at this. A little four pack. These oh, are tempting. A little four pack, if you will. <laughs> I don't actually own these records, so someone save me. And they, uh, I, I like to play them. When they come in, they're they're good jams. The Wolf Pack, starting with their most recent one, Hill Climber. Wolf Pack. Just pecking. <laughs> the pecking order starts with the hill climber, the most recent one. Um, it's a nice one, of course. Wolfpack, they do do their own thing. Uh, for uh, it's kind of annoying. I like to get some of their their records in new, but you know they do a lot of um, Kickstarter type crowdfunding. All their records get funded and pressed to order. So this was pressed to order, hmm. and. The one before that was Mr. Finish Line. Uh, this one was cool, of course, because it had the Bootsy Collins jam. It's Bootsy, baby! Of course, we started it, we're ending it with the little Bootsy right there. Another one, the um, crowd funded, crowd pressed, and I got not one, but two copies of their first full length, Thrill of the Arts. And how do we tell which is which? Of course, the second pressing on 180 gram black vinyl and the first pressing was not side sleeve but <laughs> it's white vinyl boom pick pick your poison first press second press don't matter they're funky as fuck actually cool little tidbit the hill climber they played a bunch of songs with uh chris Thiele on the uh live from um uh, with the Garrison Keeler's old uh, Prairie Home Companion, what's yeah, it right. called now? Uh, Live from here or something? Yeah, Live from yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was stuck on this old house for a second, but that's <laughs> not right. <laughs> so check out Wolfpack, Chris Thiele, search it, jam, and then come buy this one. That motherfucker can jam too. True. 
Uh, we got a dibs on Mr. Finish Line. Okay. For Mr. Mike Esperduto. Beauty. Right up there on Madison Avenue in Albany with fucking Ben and Jerry's. He's slanging. He's scooping. He's fucking dipping those cones and all sorts of gooch. Oh, and you can slather it all over your mouth hole and be satisfied on a hot, sticky, swampy summer evening. Mmm, um, ice cream. This is actually a live broadcast from Ben and Jerry's on Madison Avenue, Albany. You heard it here, people. Dark Side's got the technologies. perduto has got the ice cream. Mm -hmm. You hit them up. Oh, and it's called Live From Here. Live From Here. Mm -hmm. Is that what you said? I, I thought it was one. It was in there. Okay, he threw it in there. I threw it in. Ugh. Speaking of swampy. <laughs> We've just been waiting to make this joke. It's ball. fucking swampy in here. So I figured, why not? With a, one of one of my favorite records, like this, I can listen to this record forever. It's Dwayne Allman, an anthology. So this is a compilation of Dwayne's early stuff, his stuff as a session man down there at Muscle Shoals. And I tell you what, the BB King medley opener is worth the price of admission right there. But then you're doing all sorts of stuff. You got Hey Jude with fucking Wilson Pickett on the vocals, mm -hmm. the weight with Aretha, like, goddamn, this album. This album. Sometimes a man. Sometimes. To quote the Big Lebowski. <laughs> oh right, I forgot. It's in there. Look, it's got a, it's got like a, a beer bottle ring on it. Can you pick that up? As as I picked it up, I noticed there's like a, a ring on here that somebody clearly set their beer on this at one point. And you know what? Damn well right. Past ownerships. Not only do we have the double LP, where is it? In the middle. It includes the libretto, if you will. Ooh. But down there, they just called the book. I think it's li libido. It's the book. Oh, it's the libido? Yeah. Libido on the brat? Libido and, and rebels. <laughs> <laughs> so that's right. Uh. Dwayne Allman, an anthology, some of his session work. Seriously, this record is a fucking jammer. It is. Put it on. It even includes some of the early stuff with the almonds. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. Yeah. And there's a volume two if you ever come across it. Also worth it. Mm. Actually, I don't think I've seen that. Yep, an anthology two. That's what it's called. Big Spender. Um, hello, Drew. Drusif. Drusifer. Drusseldorf. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> the Drudy column. Drudy Poo Candy Ass. <laughs> Drusalini? Drusalini, oh. <laughs> he did get called. He's called you a fascist earlier. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. He's actually on his way to Drulus Jerusalem right Drew now. <laughs> <laughs> Drop your best Drew pun down below. Give, yeah, come on. Give us your Drew puns. He may not work here anymore, but he still needs to feed people. Look, and if, he feeds off Drew puns. Look, if Justin the can droops. do it, if I can do it, Drew can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we'll see you next week. See you in the bin, see people. See you in the bin. See you in the bin. Oh! <laughs> no fires next week.